All right, guys, it's time to cover Anime Exposed again. We have not covered Anime Exposed in a very long time, but that's because I got very burned out on the series. But we're going to go ahead and continue it today. We need to finish up their uh, critique of the Full Metal Alchemist series. we have to this one is from sky lily and said this one is a neko Cirrus mario ghost i'd like to draw these while listening to Cirrus's vids last one was so long i had a time uh, time and inspiration to do it the last uh, next one we have is from eric amian thank you very much it's, it says more ai art mid journey this time not dolly mini translucent purple slime cat ruby studded gold collar tail holding a hammer spherical body eventually led to this this looks like a like if you've got a wizard staff this is the orb and the wizard staff the last one we have here is from agates draken said hiya i'm a youtube watcher of your stuff and a patron for about a year-ish since i ran into the yukio cards or actual magic video at least i'm absolutely not an artist but after you said that all the fan art is valid and also being driven up the wall by all the surus coins i figured you might as well turn into a surus bill instead you know, to add some variety to your suffering as a treat. Oh. Not only do we not need this suffering, but now it's time to make you all suffer. Every last one of you. But instead, we're actually just going to go watch a, uh, a DVD from a cringy anime studio. As always, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, if you have not already hit the subscribe button, maybe consider doing so. That would be incredibly awesome. And as always, everybody, let's go ahead and get on. Uh, why do I keep saying as always? Kill me. Stop it. I'm trying to stall. I don't want to watch. Oh, God, there it is. Might have healed our wounds. Why is it not but playing? That does not mean we're friends! It's pretty apparent that you're the root of all this evil! If that's not satanically inspired, then I don't know what is. Wait. Okay, so, context. The last time we covered this, uh, they were saying that it's satanically inspired to say that the, the villain of the show, whose name is Father, is evil they're trying to say that this show's critique is that god the father is evil but it should be noted yahweh and father these two characters are very very separate father in full metal alchemist is not an all-knowing being for one he's not all present and and yes he, he literally is evil like these are not the same these are not the same person I don't think they're even meant to be allegories for one another. If anything, Father in this series is more uh, allegorical to Satan, if anything, because he is literally the cast down shadow at the end of the series compared to Truth, who is the actual god in Full Metal Alchemist. But let's continue. Brother, the homunculi keep calling this guy their father. I think he's the one who created them. What? He did heal our wounds, though. He didn't heal mine. Uh, I don't like him. I'm going to have to keep pausing. I forgot they use so much. They use so much from the anime that I have to actually, like, be very, very careful with copyright. Uh, so, of course, we got the scene here where Greed, uh, Lin Greed, he's not, he's not Greed yet. He's Lin at the moment, uh, is upset that he's not getting the same treatment as the Elric brothers, but that's because in the show, the Elric brothers are actually sacrifices. They are meant to be sacrifices at the end of the show. So father needs them alive and well. He's a villain though. He doesn't treat your wounds because he's nice. He treats your wounds because he needs you. I can tell he looks down on humans and calls us fools. This portrayal of the father just distorts our views of God's love. What? They're not they're not talking about Yahweh. That that's not Yahweh. That's that's a different character completely who's not even supposed to be allegorical. What? 
If you're a Christian in my audience, did you get the idea that Father in Full Metal Alchemist was meant to be Yahweh? Because I sure the fuck didn't when I was a Christian. And leaves us with a gross misunderstanding of the true nature of God's feelings towards us. Actually, the only thing you have a real misunderstanding of, Miss, is uh, audio. Because I only hear you through my right earphone. And that's fucking with me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared to ask how this whole series ends. Well, Michelle, it ends up the way that you would expect it to. And judging from how they portray the hero's hatred for God, in the end of the series, the father ends up stealing the souls of 50 million people to create a philosopher's stone that will allow the father to become God. But wait, I thought he was God the whole time. Hold on. Question. If he is supposed to be the allegory for God, why does he not have any a story that even mildly resembles it? The dude's called father because he's the father of the homunculi. That's it. He does attempt to gain all knowledge. He does attempt to become God. He does try that, yes. But if we're really going to do the biblical allegory thing, that is more allegorical to Satan than anything. Is this how we expected it to go? Yeah, no. How, how, how the fuck did you expect it to go? Mockingburns, thank you very much for reading your points for an owl. Owl. Wait a minute. So he will no longer be bound to God or the consequences of God. I thought he was supposed to be God allegory. Why is he sounding a lot more like Satan allegory? Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? I don't put it past these uh, fanatical pricks uh, to dissect Cardcaptor Circa, uh, Cardcaptor Sakura. They would, they would choose bad dubs for everything. So this is going to fuck with me when I watch this later on YouTube, not remembering that I was here live and hearing my username. Oh, that's fair, Mockingburns. I'm sure it will definitely fuck with you, Mockingburns. But don't worry, Mockingburns. When you watch it on YouTube, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Anyways. I'll force you down to this earth and into my bones! You have no choice but to be absorbed! God, I'm so worried about copyright here. I am I am probably going to have a very bad copyright strike on this episode. There's no way around it. Um, so the father meets God and absorbs him, then what? Well, in the next episode titled He Who Would Swallow God. <laughs> Divine droplets. Jesus cummy wummies, if you would. The father comes back to earth with a different form and he claims he now has the power right. of God. What happened? You have done well, my faithful sacrifices. <laughs> yeah, he's it, it's it's just Hohenheim's body again. It's just Hohenheim's body again. You mean you actually did it? Yes. I have done what I set out to do. Acquire God. Acquire God? That is impossible. Now, remember, in this stage in the series, he's saying God, but the actual character of God in the series, Truth, notes that he is known by a lot of names. He's a lot of things. If you want to call him a God, he won't stop you. But if you want to call him Truth, he won't stop you either. The concept of godhood in this series is being used very, very loosely. But all Little Light Studios is going to talk about is the fact that they said God, blasphemy, blasphemy. The idea that this is a story happening in a different fictional universe that even if they believe 
our universe is bound by the laws of their god, this fictional universe exists outside of those laws. The idea that a different fiction can exist that doesn't necessarily include their narratives or their myths confuses them greatly. Unfortunately, it is. Farewell, gentlemen. What are you? What's that? The power of God is now in my control. With that, I can do anything. For instance, I can create a sun right in the palm of my hand. <laughs> so according to them, God became, God ate God to become God? Yeah. No, literally, their allegory makes no sense when you take what literally happens in the show into account. Shall I turn its flame loose in here? What do you think? <laughs> Your plan for binding God to this world was a flawed one. We plotted against you since the moment you set it in motion. Listen to what these alchemists say. Your, Your plan, plan to bind binding God, God to this world, world is flawed. flawed. Which is ironically exactly what God did. He bound himself to our planet by the incarnate Jesus. The Son of God will forever retain his human form. No, he stopped having his human form when he went back up to heaven. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Even within the Bible, you're wrong. His human form stopped being what could be noted as a human form when he ascended back up to heaven. How? How did you get your own book wrong? How did you do that? Also, Note, when the characters are saying your plan to bring God to this world failed, they're not talking about the plan that Yahweh had to bring Jesus down to the earth. What they're talking about is more akin to the story of Babel. You could literally take the story and say, hey, just as it was faulty for the humans to because when I was taught the Tower of Babel, it was that uh, people built the tower so that they could ascend to the sun because they thought the sun was God. Just as it was faulty for humans to build a tower up to God, it's just as faulty for humans to try to bring God down to earth. It's the same problem either way. You could literally look at this as a story with biblical undertones that is still in line with scripture. You have that ability. You can do that, but instead, no. It's a cartoon that you don't like, so you have to demonize it. This is the problem with using scripture for anything. You can make it mean anything you want it to. Satan began opposing God since the very onset of the plan to create Earth, just like what Hohenheim says here. Are you, are you not? In this story, father is Satan, my guys. Hohenheim is not Satan here. Hohenheim is not on that side here. The time has come. He is guilty of committing the ultimate transgression. We no longer have bodies to return to, but the people of Amestra still have the chance to resume their physical forms. Yes, we know what we must do. Let us return their souls back to their bodies. I, again, I have to pause repeatedly because of copyright strike shit. It is what Hohenheim asks of us. Notice what he said. The father has committed the ultimate transgression. Yeah, Satan has committed the ultimate transgression. What next? Once again, putting all the blame on the father whom the wiki refers to as God. Yes because in this particular area. First of all, can we note, who the fuck cares what the wiki says? Who, who the fuck cares what the wiki says in any way, shape or form? The wiki, the, the wiki is not gospel. And the character's name is literally father. I am surprised you have not popped every vertebrae in your spine with this stretch. There are cats who are jealous at your ability to stretch this far. There are slimes that cannot imagine the level of dexterity these mental gymnastics have caused you. 
the wiki is not enough. You cannot just sit there and look at the wiki and go, ah, yes, mm -hmm, that was the artist's original intent. No, that is by definition written by fans of a thing to describe the thing. The father and Edward battle it out and Edward eventually defeats the father. All the souls collected by the father are released so that they can be returned to their own bodies. Wow, can we do the biblical allegory thing better than uh, Little Light Studios? Can we do that? Can we? Can I use my years of time as a Christian before I became an atheist? Can we use those to uh, maybe write a better narrative here? Guess what's being shown here? Do you want to know what this looks like to me? You want to know exactly what this fucking look like, looks like to me? The rapture. That is what this is to me. When I see this, were I still a Christian, I would see the rapture. I would see the rapture happening, and as the souls are leaving, this marks the beginning of the end for Satan's dominion on Earth. He gets his little time for dominion on Earth with his body that he thinks is of God. He gets to do his shit, and then he gets pummeled into the ground, and he gets his ass handed to him at the end and uh, by judgment from truth, or in this case, the actual God of the series. What you are seeing here is not Satanism, my dumb fucks. What you are seeing here is quite literally a rapture allegory. But you are so wrapped up in the need to be against this. You are so wrapped up in it that you can't see the allegories to your own scripture here. You can't. You have to twist them around and make them of the enemy. But okay, don't worry. We'll continue to watch all of the stuff that is very, 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 very copyright and hope to God that we don't get struck on YouTube. So just make the pain stop? I can't. I can't. I can't make the pain stop. I can't do that. I really can't. I can't. How, how long do you let the scene go? How long do you let the scene go for? Man, this is like some twisted resurrection day. Twisted resurrection day? What the? F the resurrection day. The, the day. The, the day that the, the souls. The, the souls did. The, the, what? Resurrection day? How the fuck is this a resurrection day? Where the fuck is that coming from? I understand that, like, the people who were killed here are getting their bodies back, so technically they're getting resurrected because they were killed for, like, 12 seconds, 10 maximum. But when I hear that, I immediately think, okay, what are you, what are you taking this? What are you, what are you comparing this to where the Bible's concerned? What are you doing? This whole crazy saga doesn't end here. There's more fighting resulting in Edward destroying the father. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that happened. You're showing it all. You could, you could easily not have the copyright hit. That would be cool, but you, you're just gonna keep on showing the scene. It's, it's still going. It's still going. The seed is still going. They are not stopping it. These people do not care. These people do not care about any copyright hit. And the father finds himself standing before the so-called creator of the universe, whose name is Truth. Listen to the reasons why the father Tell did me. what he did. Why did you refuse to join me? Why, God? How did I disappoint you? You were incapable of believing in yourself. <laughs> you stole your power from others. You rejected your human origins and chose to covet the power of what you call God. Okay, I fail to see a problem here. We are literally, like, again, if we're going with the Satan allegory, if we're going with the Satan allegory, this is literally just God telling Satan, hey, you weren't happy being you. You wanted to be me. 
You you had too much pride. That's why the fall happened. But you decided you needed to be me. You needed to be the head honcho of heaven. That's the fucking problem. So to be fair, they're technically in the realm of fair use. I I don't think so. I would get a copyright strike for this much footage. Unfiltered. I know for a fact I would. So basically what they're saying is they want uh, a Satan-like god to come to Earth and consume all the souls of humans. I don't know what they're saying at this point. Like, they would need to do something to these scenes. Copyright strikes aren't the same thing as the legal concept of fair use. Right. I, I understand that. Technically, they're very similar, though, here. So technically, it's fair use, but honestly, uh, the copyright holders don't care. I I don't know if this... like That's the thing. Fair use is really wishy-washy. I don't know if this is fair use. I don't know if this is transformative enough. I don't. You never grew beyond your days in the flask. Did you truly think you'd become superior to humans by removing your seven desires? Don't make me laugh. What's wrong with that? I only wanted to obtain perfection. I wanted this world's knowledge for my own. Why should I be punished for that? What's wrong with craving knowledge? So let me get this straight. Your villain ate from the tree of knowledge and that was bad and therefore you think it's satanic. What's wrong with seeking perfection? Wow, the father is seeking perfection? Well... Yeah, he's Satan. Holy fucking shit. How can you not get that? How, how do you not understand this is not Jesus? This is not Jesus. Speak. What are you anyway? Do you even have a name? Who am I? One name you might have for me is the world. Or you might call me the universe. Or perhaps God. Or perhaps the truth. I am all, and I am one. So, of course, this also means that I am you. I am the truth of your despair. The inescapable price of your boastfulness. <laughs> wow. This sounds almost exactly like a god, and perhaps even Yahweh, explaining that beings made in his image, coveting his power, is bad. Holy fucking shit. So they aren't taught literary criticism, Asuris, I'm sorry. I understand they're not taught shit. Every person involved in the making of this episode was a flabbergastingly dumb idiot. And I can say that with a full chest, because I've spoken to them in my comment section. Humans who would dare to play God must pay a steep price for their arrogance. That is true. This being truth <laughs> then administers judgment. And now, I will bestow upon you the despair you deserve. Eyeballs! Don't do this to me! I can't! I can't go back! Please stop! I can't bear to be bound any longer! <laughs> And now he's t he's being taken back. Sucks to be him. Said, oh. Despair is reserved for the boastful. Just tell me what I was supposed to do. You brought this outcome upon yourself. What I do wrong? What should I have done? You shouldn't have tried to start a fucking apocalypse. That's that's what it is. You shouldn't have tried to start an apocalypse. Still desiring to get his brother back from God, so he creates one more transmutation circle and uses alchemy to send himself to confront the creator of the universe. Yeah, why is he always drawing occult symbols to do his sorcery? Occult symbol? Okay, look, I understand maybe you don't get it that everything that isn't Christian and has to do with magic isn't automatically occult. Occultism is not just, aha, I, I did the thing and it wasn't Christian. But I understand back when I was a Christian, I was literally taught that 
every single fucking thing that smelled even a bit like magic was the occult. I get it. But if you're literally going to ask, why did he draw a supernatural symbol to do a supernatural thing? I don't fucking know. Why would he do that? I don't know. Why would a priest read from a Bible? Moreover, what's that old adage? It's divine when God does it, but it's magic when humans do it. Why would he have to draw a magic symbol? Because he's not God. There you go. The Bible's quite clear on the use of magic. We should have nothing to do with it. Wow. It's almost like when he uses magic here, he gives up his ability to use, quote, magic. You should also note, in the Full Metal Alchemist universe, alchemy isn't magic. It's science. Magic in the Full Metal Alchemist universe is categorically something different than what alchemists use. As Edward stands before the creator of the universe, notice the Kabbalah tree of life behind him. I take it you're here to retrieve your brother? Just how do you plan on pulling an entire human out of here? What's your payment? Do you intend to offer your own body? <laughs> Look at the name written just above Edward's head. It says Adonai. Which is one of the names of God. Neat. And why does that matter? You have to remember, sometimes when we put imagery into shows, we do it because we like it or it's cool. It doesn't always have deeper meaning than that, though sometimes it can and does. When you point out that the door of truth, the access to power of God, has one of the names of God written on it. Wow, shocked Pikachu face. Powers of God having the names of God written on them? That's so fucking weird. I wonder why that would happen. This thing is my portal of truth. So I get to make the decision on how it's used. Is that right? <laughs> it's come to that. <laughs> and you're sure about this. You do realize that you'll never be able to perform alchemy again without your portal. Yeah, it's, it's almost as if he's giving up his access to the powers of God. And he's giving that to, he's literally, he's literally offering up his powers to God and saying, is this, is this, is this equivalent? It's almost as if there's a story of this happening, this exact same fucking thing happening in the Bible. When Moses tries to offer his salvation up so that his people who have been doing things that are wrong, like worshiping golden calves, uh, might be saved from God's wrath. Now, in that situation, God tells Moses, no, you can't do that. But this situation, different characters, different story. Nothing wrong with having different characters in a different story. But again, if you're going to have problems with this type of story being told, maybe check your book, because it has these same stories in it. I'm aware of that. This portal, I know it contains every secret alchemy has to offer. However, it's also led me- I like how it's got Elohim up there too. Yeah, again, almost as if a portal to God's power would have God's names on it. Wow, holy fucking shit, who would have guessed? ...me astray. I saw the truth that lies within it, and I became convinced I could solve everything with alchemy. But I couldn't possibly have been more wrong. So, let me get this straight. If we continue playing Christian Apologist, we have a story where Edward Elric thought he could he could figure out all the... Uh, he could use the powers of God to figure things out like God. He is now taking his slice of humble pie, realizing he cannot do that. That's not something he himself can do. And so he's giving this, he's giving this access back to God. And this is supposed to be satanic? This is, 
This is supposed to be against your Bible? Huh, weird. We must have read a different book. That was just arrogance. You're willing to cast it aside, to lower yourself to a simple human? What do you mean, lower myself? That's the only thing I've ever been. Just a simple human that couldn't save a little girl. Not even with alchemy. You're sure you'll be all right without it? Think carefully now. And the climax of this series is that Edward then defeats God. What? 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 Wait, what? No, that is not. Excuse? Excuse me? Defeats God? That that's not what happens. He submits to him. How did you watch a different fucking show? While showing the same goddamn show. How? How did you do that? We are watching different fucking things. We have to be. <laughs> Who even needs alchemy when I've got them? <laughs> You've done it. That's the right answer. <laughs> Good job. You beat me. Again, he's saying you beat me as in you solved my riddle, not you've defeated God. You solved my riddle. You found the truth. Also, can we say, can we point out you're taking the dub literally the dub. I love the Full Metal Alchemist dub more than anything. I think it is one of the most fantastic dubs in all of fucking anime. But you are taking... Oh my god, this is so ironic. This is so goddamn ironic. A group of Christians who can't get their Bible right, a book that has been translated multiple fucking goddamn times, is getting something wrong because of something translated multiple times. Once from the manga into the anime, and once from the anime into the dub. Somehow, we have come full circle. A group of people who think the world is 6,000 years old because they can't fucking read has got to the point where they believe that a translation of a translation of a translation is the gospel. This dumb fucking game of telephone that this group of idiots plays is insane to me. The back door is right over there. Goodbye, Edward Elric. <laughs> Lovely message. So the moral of this whole crazy anime is that you don't need God and that you can ultimately find your own path with esoteric knowledge? No. No, that's the opposite of what happened! He tried to find his own path, failed, and then submitted to God and gave his ability to find that path back to the deity. And that is what led to him getting his brother back. Him trying to figure it out on his own was the problem. Him giving up that arrogance was the solution. That's what happened in the clip you just showed. Why do I get more upset over this than I do actual humans rights transgressions? What the fuck is wrong with me? Yep, that's the same lie that the serpent told Eve in the garden. You literally had a villain here. You literally had a villain here whose sin was biting from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they got punished. And yet you fucked it all up. How? Repackaged and sold to a new generation, a new audience. And it still amazes me that a country with only 1.5% Christians would make such an attack on Christianity. No. There was no attack on Christianity here. 
the Edward of the beginning of the show attacks religion, and the Edward of the end of the show is completely different. You've watched a different fucking show, apparently. I really hope many fans will realize what a danger this type of imagery can do to your faith and not waste any time watching this garbage. Hey, speaking of time, I gotta hit the road. I have a Bible study tonight with a friend whose brother is really addicted to gaming. He has some new game he's playing that he says has lots of biblical imagery in it and has some questions. Same time tomorrow? I'm game. What are we going to expose tomorrow? How about Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh boy, I used to watch that back in St. Lucia when I was a kid, when there was literally nothing else to do. You recall anything spiritual in it? Uh, it was so long ago, nothing immediately st- You fools! Let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Ah, yes. Let's do that one. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, anime exposed everybody. You've activated his trap card. <laughs> no. So that was the end of part two of anime exposed and part whatever the fuck I'm on in my series. I have not returned to the series in such a long time because it, it got it started to feel really redundant. But I cannot wait to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Have I covered their Evangelion one yet? Yes, I have. Yes, I did. So, I guess we're going to be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! the next time we cover this. I can't fucking wait. I'm actually excited to cover Anime Exposed again. This is a weird feeling. Why am I excited to get angry? What the hell is wrong with me? I've made many mistakes on this career path. I imagine they'll do a follow-up on Sonic the Hedgehog just for you. I already did a whole video on a person who thought that Sonic the Hedgehog was satanic. Jesus fucking Christ. I sensed an entire field of trap cards. <laughs> you fools, I'm playing trap tricks today. And by hand, it has nothing but ghost ogres and ash blossoms. You can do nothing. And even if you succeed, I have a Nibiru. Nothing you do will go unchecked. Fuck you. But anyways, that was anime exposed. Getting everything wrong about Full Metal Alchemist. We'll have to cover them again, or they'll get everything wrong about Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. As always, everybody, let me know in the comment section what you thought, what your feelings were towards this. I would love to see what everybody thinks. With that said, if you haven't hit the like on the video, please consider doing so. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I can't wait to get back to the series. That and Dangers of Wu. We'll have to get back to both of those. As always, everyone, insert end video tagline here. <laughs>